a million pubs and things. I love it, you. I came to London and I thought, great, I can be gay. We're gonna party. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about It's a Sin, a series that will tug on your heartstrings. Produced by Red Production Company, It's a Sin is a five episode based mini series that covers from 1981 to 1991. The story is based on the lives of gay men and their friends and their lives during the HIV AIDS crisis. The series is set in London, United Kingdom. So, if you're someone who loves to watch exciting and amazing series that are set in historical times, then you're in the right place. But before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on the videos that we post. Let's get started. It's a Sin depicts life during the times of the HIV AIDS crisis. It revolves around the decade in which there was a rise in cases of HIV AIDS and how a group of gay men and friends struggle through the rise in the epidemic. The series falls several young people throughout the 1980s and early 1990s as they experience the horrific toll of HIV and AIDS in the gay community. It demonstrates once again Davy's masterful control of tone, shifting in five episodes from joy to harder won pleasures of solidarity in the face of a crisis to finally tragedy. The cast includes Richie, who moves to London from his small town on an island off the coast of England. Then there's Bashful Colin, played by Caleb Scott Howells, who gets his first job in a fancy menswear store. And there's Roscoe, played by Amari Douglas, who leaves home after his family tries to convert him with prayer and community shaming. They all eventually become friends with Jill, and especially in the first episode, there's a sense that these stories will be three interwoven threads with relatively equal weight throughout the series. Richie and Colin are white, Roscoe and Jill are black. It's a Sin has the masterful balance of uplifting, heart-bursting fun, and the juxtaposition of the most heartbreaking story you've ever seen. The first episode is a bit of a red herring because the plot follows the regular pattern we would expect to see a show like this. The main characters sit in their stereotypes, but then as the story unfolds, it starts to catch you off guard. You fall in love with all the main characters from the complexities and depth that isn't always apparent in gay drama. They feel totally real. They feel like your group of friends you had at that stage, with all the flamboyance, the little idiosyncrasies, and in-jokes you created with each other. The heartbreaking moments are made all the more upsetting because they successfully prove that HIV wasn't picking people who deserved it, or were more dubious characters anyway. Disease and illness doesn't work like that. It can happen to anyone, especially when there's little to no advice or commentary coming from public figures or aid from the government. The guilt and shame these poor men and women felt by the public reaction to them is so poignant it hurts. False news, lack of available information, scaremongering, and scapegoating are all things the modern audience should definitely be able to relate to. With truly wonderful performances by the entire cast, moving scripts written beautifully and and so utterly relevant, this show is so powerful. It's very clear that the friends all loved each other and looked out for each other as a group, but away from the group, their individual stories were so well told. It's a Sin cast. It's a Sin is extraordinary in every category, be it plot, characters, soundtrack, and editing. It's a brilliant storyline told amazingly by young actors. The character of Richie Tozer is portrayed by Ollie Alexander. Ollie is a British musician, singer-songwriter, actor, and LGBTQ plus advocate. His music is released under the name Years and Years. His acting career began in the film Summerhill, released in 2008. His second film, Bright Star, was nominated for an Academy Award in the United States for Best Achievement in Costume Design. Roscoe Babbittson is played by Omari Douglas. He is known for wise children. Children. He's also a dancer and singer. Calum Scott Howells is seen playing the role of Colin. Calum is a Welsh actor, singer, and television personality who began his career as a child. He made his debut in a regional production of Oliver. He was a founding member of the Boys Choir, Only Boys Allowed, performing with them on Series 6 of Britain's Got Talent in 2012 and later for Prince Harry and Meghan in 2018. He has since become a young ambassador. He has won the 2013 Star of Stage Talent Show. He also appeared in Series 2 of the CBBC reality documentary series, Show Me What You're made of. He was 13 at the time. Next up among the cast of It's a Sin is Jill Baxter, portrayed by Lydia West. Davies calls her character the heart of the story, and according to newspapers, she had had a standout performance in the series. Lydia is a British actress. She's known for her television roles in the BBC One series Years and Years, and It's a Sin. She also had a guest role in the BBC One series Dracula. Her voice work includes narrating The Wizard of Oz for Audible alongside Jim Broadbent. She 
has an upcoming film role in Tax For You and television role in the Apple TV Plus series Suspicion. Kelly Hawes plays the role of Valerie Tozer. Kelly is an English actress and producer. After starting her career in a number of literary adaptions, including Our Mutual Friend and Tipping the Velvet, she rose to fame for her betrayal in Zoe Reynolds in the BBC series Spooks, following by her co-lead performance as D.I. Alex Drake in Ashes to Ashes, for which she won a Glamour Award for UK TV actress. She has appeared in films including Death at a Funeral 2007, High Rise 2015, Misbehavior 2020, and To Olivia 2021, in which she portrays actress Patricia Neal. She has also provided the voice of Laura Croft in Tomb Raider video games, including Tomb Raider Legend, Tomb Raider Anniversary, Tomb Raider Underworld, and Laura Croft and the Guardian of Light. Sean Dooley portrays the role of Clive Tozer. Sean is a British actor, narrator, and voiceover artist. Dooley's first acting role was as Sean in Group on a Stanley Knife in 1997. He later played Richie Fitzgerald in Coronation Street from 1997 until 1998. In 2019, Sean and his wife Polly produced an album, Got It Covered, for Children in Need. Neil Patrick Harris plays the role of Henry Coltrane. Neil's an American actor, singer, comedian, writer, producer, and television host. He is known primarily for his comedy roles on television and his dramatic and musical stage roles. On television, he's known for playing the title character on Doogie Howser, MD, from 1989 to 1993. Barney Stinson on How I Met Your Mother, which played from 2005 to 2014, for which he was nominated for four Emmy Awards, and Count Olaf in a series of unfortunate events, which ran from 2017 to 2019. Harris is also known for his role as the title character in Joss Whedon's musical Dr. Horrible's Sing Along Blog, 2008, and a fictional version of himself in the Harold and Kumar film series from 2004 all the way to 2011. His other films include Starship Troopers 1997, Beastly 2011, The Smurfs 2011, The Smurfs 2 2013, A Million Ways to Die in the West 2014, and Gone Girl 2014. In 2014, he starred in the title role in Hedwig and the Angry Inch on Broadway, for which he won the 2014 Tony Award for Best Leading Actor in a Musical. Harris has hosted the Tony Awards in 2009, 11, 12, and 2013, for which he won four Special Class Emmy Awards. He also hosted the Primetime Emmy Awards in 2009 and 2013, and hosted the 87th Academy Awards in 2015, thus making him the first openly gay man to host the Academy Awards. Among other cast members, we have Nathaniel Curtis, Tracy Auberman, and Stephen Fry, portraying the roles of Ash McCurgy, Carol Carter, and Arthur Garrison, respectively. It's a Sin release date. The series was released in the UK on the 22nd of January 2021. Shortly after the broadcast of the first episode, all episodes were available to stream on free on Channel 4's on-demand streaming service, all four. A first look image was released on 14th of January 2020 by a press release given to those in attendance at Channel 4 press event. The series was originally scheduled for a 2020 release. On the 2nd of October 2020, Channel 4 released the first official teaser trailer and with a statement that it would be broadcast in 2021. On the 17th of December 2020, a full trailer was then released. It's a Sin Ratings and Reviews It's a Sin received a spectacular response from the audience thanks to its heart-wrenching storyline. The first episode was watched live by 1.6 million viewers on Channel 4, a benchmark for a drama launch previously hit a year earlier by Deadwater Fell. It was the network's best-performing drama among young viewers, which were from 16 to 34 in three years. Catch-up views hit 2.5 million with three days of the live broadcast. Channel 4 revealed on the 4th of February that the series had gained 6.5 million views on all four. Thus far, given the streaming service its highest monthly figures to date for January, nearly doubling the previous figure. The series became the third biggest on platform to date and it's the most binged new series ever. The first episode was the platform's biggest drama launch on record. By the 1st of March, this number had gone up to 18.9 million. In January 2021, Scarlett Russell from The Times branded it the most talked about show of the moment. Lucy Mangan from The Guardian praised the series, naming it a point masterpiece. Of the character development, she said, Davies creates real, flawed, entirely credible bundles of humanity and makes it clear without even momentary preachiness how much they have to lose. In 2021, It's a Sin got nominated by British LGBT Awards, the result of which is still pending. That's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. Please let us know what else you want to see in the next video in the comment section down below. Until then, take care. See you soon with a brand new video. Thanks so much for watching. Ta-ta!